Hey there folks, I got a new knife for you. What I have here is the new War Horse by J. Colback Knives, which is in collaboration with Alpha Hunter. This one is the Black Stallion War Horse Edition. Now, if you guys have been watching Weenus and Steel from way back when, you know that the Bandit had one of the very first war horses and all the wieners were drooling over it now brian's war horse was not a flipper but it was very similar in design it was a lot larger a lot larger blade a lot larger knife this is the new war horse collab and it's just lovely let's just take a look at it so this one is a flipper before i go into the specs I want you guys just to look at it. It is so damn sexy. Look at this thing. Like I said, this was a pre-order. Uh, the first 50 knives were a numbered edition, so you get like a card with the number of your um, war horse. Now, I know Alpha Hunter has had the other war horse made not too long ago, sometime last year, but I've always wanted one made by Jake Hoback, and here it is. I've always been jonesing for a Hob uh, for an Alpha Hunter collab war horse with Jake Hoback, because that's the first... Tom, I was exposed to it was uh, Jake's war horse that the, the bandit owns, which he still owns. I mean, it's just lovely. It is a chunky knife, folks. But Jake has done some things to lighten it up. We'll talk about it. Let's do some specs. All right, so overall length. Overall length is under 8 inches, so it's like 7.6. The blade length is 3 inches, 3.07 to be exact. The closed length is about 4.5 inches, so it is a smaller knife. You look at it in my hands. Medium sized hands. So it's not as big as the Bandit's, but it doesn't feel like a small knife at all. It feels like a... A good knife. It feels good in my hands. It fits my hands nicely. I believe that the original War Horse, like Brian's, was way, way thicker. Way thicker. Titanium frames. The blade steel. This one's CPM Crew Wear, which is a. Uh, very similar to D2, I believe, when I did my reading on it, it's a little bit better than D2. It is a tool steel. It's got high wear resistance, and it's very tough. So this could be a workhorse. See what I did there? <laughs> I love the signature design on the warhorse. Yes, you can see the titanium handles have these milled out sections, these Fullers, if you'll have, on both sides. It does have a DLC black coating on it. You were offered two options. You can get the DLC black finish, which looks very similar to the blade here. Or, which is what I got, you can get the DLC black fallout finish that Jake is on for. The black fallout finish, basically, it looks like... Jake just beat it up a little bit. <laughs> so I guess it's kind of like a stonewash. He DLC coats it, and then he puts it through some media. And you can get... That's how you get the uh, the fallout finish. Hopefully it translates well on the camera. I mean, you can see there's some um, like purposeful scratches on it. Typical with uh, holdback knives, it does have the HRD. Hold back rolling detent. Or should you say roller detent. That you can adjust. It does have a stainless steel lock insert. Which also comes with an over travel. Built in. 
I don't know if I can show you guys. Bearings, of course, which makes it flip really nice. Really positive flipper. I love the flipper design. Um, it almost looks... The blade and the flipper... Maybe not so much this. This is definitely very modern looking, but... The flipper to me looks very uh, medieval. <laughs> medieval. I think um, Chad and Jake were probably knights in a past life lifetime. <laughs> it does have a 3D machine backspacer, which is floating. As you can see. Semi-floating, if you'll have it. Titanium, of course. Inside, because it is a... I'm not fooling you guys. It's just a chunky knife, but it's lighter than it looks because Jake milled out some lightning pockets on the inside. I don't know if you guys can see it. Hopefully. Usually when I review the video later, I can see the, the pockets. You can see it easier, but... Definitely lightened it up. When I looked up at Jake's website, the pivot is uh, Jake's design. It's a can pivot, which means that basically um, it's um, a little offset over here. So when you, you take it down... This won't keep, it, it, it won't rotate, it won't spin. It's basically locked in place because it's offset a little bit, so it's easier to remove the uh, pivot. Jake, Jake designed the whole knife to be easy to be taken down. He even provided, let me see, let me see if I got it. He even provides you with tools. Look at that. Pretty cool. It does come with the card. With Jake's signature. Gives you the number. And again, like the first 50 knives are numbered. I believe Jake only made a little less than 250 of this run. I did talk to Jake. And in the future, they may, hopefully that's not a secret, may do another run. But there's definitely going to be some changes to it to make it, again, unique as this is. Some minor changes. That's in the future sometime. Look at that. Got a nice lanyard. Integrated integrated lanyard slot there. Very nice. Jake's signature pocket clip. You can see the serial number. And then Jake's Psalm 121. And you can see right there, hold back, Alpha Hunter, Alpha Hunter Tactical Design ATD. I love it. Let's look at the blade. Look at that awesome looking blade. I love the shape of it. Look at that fuller. You know, I'm a fan of the fuller. I do love it. There's something so sexy about a fuller. Got some jimping, which is rather... Large, but not aggressive at all. It feels really good. The whole knife, this DLC coating, just makes the knife feel so good in hand. Very smooth, no sharp edges. Just really well done. Excellent finishing on it. Comfortable in hand. Doesn't feel like any hot pockets. But just just a pleasure to hold in your hand. I mean, it's just lovely. Everything is no, nothing sharp. Very well done. Very well finished. Excellent work, Jake. Really well done. Did I say it's really well done? Got some jipping over here, too. Let's see where to the... It's really good in design where my thumb falls right on those. It feels really good. And it's like purposeful, the jimping. Lovely. Definitely very comfortable. Jake also ran it because he cares about his product. He ran it through um, 
a finite element analysis. Basically, what that does, it's a computer software where they predict where the product, this in, in this case, the knife, under real-world forces may fail. You know, they test it for vibration, heat, other, other effects of uh, the physical world. Test it for any weak spots. Makes me feel good that I know that the knife maker puts it to a rigorous test to make sure it doesn't fail in use. Which in my case, no use. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I will carry this. I love it. I want to carry it and show it off to everybody. Look at my war horse. My black stallion war horse. Sounds like a porn movie. So sexy. I just love it. I just love it. I just love it. I was a fan from, again, when I saw from the band, I just loved it. So if you guys got on the pre-order, they are, they did start shipping out. So you should be getting it shortly. And that's another thing. Jake was really excellent with the, um, which I love, the tracking, the info on the shipping. I even got an email that it was delivered. How awesome is that? That's confidence. That's confidence. And I have confidence in Jay because he delivers a good product. I know he cares about it. It's so beautiful. Look at that beautiful blade. Oh my God, that's aggressive. Look how fat that blade is. That is just sexy. Now that's a knife. All right, folks, so that's the Hoback Alpha Hunter collab, the Black Stallion War Horse Flipper. Peace.